Welcome back to the V Brown Bag Tech Talks at V Forum Sydney. Uh, my second guest today he represents our wonderful sponsor Nutanix, and he is the unstoppable Josh Hodges. Hi, I'm Josh Hodges from Nutanix. I'm a senior solutions engineer, and today I'm here to talk to you about View Composer and Nutanix. Uh, let's get to the agenda. So to start with, we're going to look at Horizon View deployment types. What is VCAI? How fast are VCAI clones? Storage protocol choice for Horizon View and VCAI. How does Nutanix benefit from Horizon View deployments? VCAI and Nutanix features and the key takeaways from this session. So starting with deployment types, we have a traditional VDI deployment, which would be a full clone type deployment, which is not very space efficient and takes a lot of time to do cloning. Um, next we have the View Composer option where we can actually have a master image of which we can deploy clones directly from that which is a, a very space efficient way to deploy virtual desktops. So what is VCAI? Well VCAI was created um, to integrate the array with View Composer to make this process of creating linked clones more efficient. So it's also known as native NFS snapshots. So VCAI is the process of offloading the creation of linked clones to the array which leverages the VAI primitive fast file clone. And the advantage is this uh, reduces the compute overhead on the ESX host, which dramatically lowers the IO on the storage array and also the storage area network. It also improves the creation and refresh times. So VCI has been in tech preview since View 5.1 um, and has just been announced as fully supported in Horizon View 5.3. So how fast are VCI clones? Well, they're extremely fast, just a couple of seconds per VM. And again, the key facts here are there's no impact to the host while this clone happens. So the only real impact is that vCenter has to acknowledge that there's a new virtual machine. So that's really the time that it takes is just a couple of seconds. There's no IO impact, there's no impact to the storage network, and there's almost no disk space for a VCI clone. So they're very space efficient. To leverage VCAI, we need to use NFS. So it's an easy justification to use NFS for Horizon View deployments. There's also a number of other benefits, which includes the space savings with NFS snapshots, the recomposed times and refresh times are dramatically reduced, and it's offloaded to the array. It means that you can have a lot more virtual machines per NFS data store compared to VMFS. So greater than 200 is what VMware recommends for NFS, compared to a maximum of 140 when we're talking about a VMFS data store, assuming your array supports and VAI is enabled. Uh, if you don't have VAI enabled, then you can only have up to 64 VMs per VMFS without SCSI reservation issues. Um, and on this topic, Nutanix actually supports thousands of VMs per NFS data store on our platform. So more benefits of this is it avoids the VMFS locking issues, which we've touched on earlier. It means when you're sizing your storage array or your Nutanix solution, you need less capacity and you need less controllers. So that can save on, on CapEx. So the cost and complexity of a fiber channel network can also be completely avoided because you can use converged IP storage. Another benefit is fewer ESX hosts are required because there's lower compute overhead in the environment. So this can save you um, creating a oversized vSphere cluster. So from a CapEx and an OpEx perspective, that's a saving. And VCI is now fully supported in 5.3, so there's no support issues with using the feature. So VCI and Nutanix. So there's a couple of really good benefits that I thought I'd highlight. Um, the first being what we call dynamic shadows. And a dynamic shadow is when we create a copy of the replica file from one Nutanix node and distribute that around the Nutanix distributed file system. And the idea behind this is to dramatically improve the read performance um, because every linked clone always accesses that replica. So it decreases the dependency on the IP network, which is a huge benefit. The next is our extent cache feature. So extent cache puts one meg extents into RAM in the Nutanix controller, which is on each uh, ESX host. So the benefit here is that extent cache, because it's in RAM, it can be sized to meet your requirements and it's not limited to two gigs, such as content-based read cache. The data in the extent cache is also deduplicated, which means we can cram a lot more data into cache, therefore getting an effective increase in cache capacity. 
Data is served locally, so it's not traversing the storage network. Therefore, it's very low latency and high performance, and it doesn't impact other hosts, which is quite important. And this is a dramatic improvement in performance for things like boot and login storms. Extent Cache is also enabled by default, so there's no configuration required, it just works. So it's very complementary to a VCAI deployment. So the key takeaways from today's tech talk is that NFS is optimal for Horizon View deployments, regardless of your platform. It enables the use of VCAI, and that can be offloaded to your array, in this case Nutanix. Using the Extent Cache feature in Nutanix is complementary to VCAI and recommended as well as using dynamic shadows to again improve performance for linked clones. Using VCI also reduces the compute and I.O. requirements in your cluster and the I.O. on your storage array, freeing that up for linked clone performance as opposed to creation and so forth. Uh, using VCI will also decrease your maintenance windows because the linked clones can be deployed and refreshed much faster. And using Nutanix Extent Cache improves the user experience by reducing latency. Thank you for your time. Hey Josh, thanks very much for uh, coming in and filling us in a bit. And I really want to thank again Nutanix for being the, uh, the sponsor of the Tech Talks here at VForum in Sydney. Without the uh, love and support of our sponsors, all of the uh, V Brown Bag Tech Talks wouldn't happen. So thanks again Nutanix.